Hello. Welcome to our virtual graduation ceremony. I am Dr. Kim Desmond, chairperson in the Department of Counseling. I also want to publicly thank graduate assistants Ashley Safone and Courtney Brown for their help with this virtual ceremony, as well as Dr. Holly Brandhuber for her coordination. Congratulations to our graduating class of 2021. We are here to celebrate your accomplishment. To family and friends in attendance, thank you for being here today. I would first like to start with an introduction of the faculty in attendance. Perhaps we could go in alphabetical order and faculty can share their name and any message for the graduates. In addition, the faculty who are not able to attend extend their sincerest congratulations. Dr. Brandhuber. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. So glad to have you here today. Um, I'm Dr. Holly Brandhuber and just want to say that I am proud of each of you and so grateful to have been a part of many of your journey um, and that I can be here today with you to celebrate. Um, I'm also going to do a quick uh, note for Dr. Michelle Bruno, normally be introducing herself right after me. She is here. Um, however, she's having some issues with her voice and so she just also wanted me to extend her congratulations and we'll be moving to to, to be on her in the list. So thank you. I just want to say congratulations. Uh, what an accomplishment. I hope that um, you kind of soak in this celebration today because it is certainly a milestone. Congratulations. So my name is uh, Dr. Matthew Nice. Um, I just want to say a sincere congratulations again. Um, we're really happy you attended as well. That's a big moment in your life. So um, yeah, thank you for attending and uh, congratulations again. Hello, I am Dr. Paula Pizadowski or Dr. PK. Uh, it's so nice to see your faces here this morning. I'm definitely feeling bittersweet, of course. I'm so excited for all of you, but also so sad to see you moving on uh, from our community. Um, just know how proud we are of you and uh, you did it. This is so exciting. Congratulations. Good morning, graduates. Congratulations. I'm Dr. Sybil West, and I'm looking at your faces and just beaming with pride. Um, I want to just let you all know how proud I personally am of you. I know significant, significant hurdles that you have gone through, and to see you here today really makes my heart happy. So congratulations. I wanted to share a bit about the department for those in attendance today. The Department of Counseling at IUP was established in 1966. We have three degree programs, the MED in School Counseling, the Masters of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling, and the PhD in Counselor Education and Supervision. We have programs across two locations, Pittsburgh East and our Indiana campus. And we also have two accredited programs, our MED in School Counseling and our MA in Clinical Mental Health Counseling. And I am very happy to say that we just concluded our site visit for our accreditation for our PhD in Counselor Education and Supervision. Um, and we anticipate a formal word of accreditation this summer. So um, this summer, we expect to have three accredited programs in the department. I also wanted to share for those in attendance that um, admission into our programs in all of our programs is a competitive process. Not everyone who applies is admitted and faculty um, weigh all of the information submitted very carefully. So you were all chosen very intentionally to be part of our counseling family and our counseling profession. I wanted to share a message with our graduates today. Um, counseling graduates, congratulations on this significant accomplishment. What a year. You have proven to be resilient and adaptable in the face of adversity. I have frequently heard the term pivot in acad academia, referring to the changes due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Your flexibility and commitment helped you earn a graduate degree in counseling. You've made it through one of the most extraordinary periods in higher education. 
your hard work, your accomplishments, and the memories and friendships you've created here at IUP will always be yours. No pandemic can take that away. I cannot think of a time in history when counselors are needed more. We are the voice of reason, compromise, and unity in a time that this is needed in our society. We facilitate healing, demonstrate unconditional positive regard, and show empathy in ways many have never experienced. When reflecting on what message I wanted to share with you today, I kept thinking about previous graduation ceremonies. In my prior messages to graduates, I spoke of how far they have come and the obstacles they faced. While I know you, your challenges have been significant, my heart is in a place of hope for you as beginning counselors, for us as colleagues defining the counseling profession, and for our society as a whole. I have identified five hopes for the counseling graduates of 2021. First, I hope that you are as committed to your own health and self-care as you are to your clients and students. As counselors, we are givers. It is part of who we are at our core. After 20 years as a counselor, I can say that I agree with the old adage, put on your oxygen mask first. It is not always easy to do, but take time off, disconnect from technology, take vacations, and enjoy time with family and friends. This type of self-care will sustain you and enable you to be even more effective with clients and students. Second, I hope that you remember to foster your relationships with family and friends. Be mindful of what makes you smile and elicits a belly laugh. Do more of those things. Family and friends will serve as a buffer to the hard stories you will hear as counselors. As I know you are aware, we cannot pro be problem solvers, but we can assist clients and students to make choices that help them meet their goals in life. Third, I hope that you care for the profession. There will be times that you are called to professional service. It will not be well-timed or convenient, but it will be necessary. I ask that during those times, you take time to reflect and intentionally act. As a mentor of mine would often remind me, we are training our replacements. This is a responsibility that none of us take lightly. You are the future of the profession. Remember the impact of your mentors, professional opportunities, and the act of offering grace. Fourth, I hope that you realize how much you are supported. Your peers who are now your professional colleagues will serve as your consultants. My hope is that the relationships you have formed at IUP will last a lifetime. In addition, the Department of Counseling faculty will continue to support you as colleagues. After all, you are the future of the profession of counseling. Finally, I hope that you remember the feeling of pride, optimism, and anticipation you feel today. I have no doubt that your career will be filled with many successes. Your impact on students and clients will be far reaching. You have the heart of a counselor and this commitment to helping others will keep you centered as you advance in your career. There will be times when you are faced with critical decisions and you will just know what to do. Many of you have already demonstrated this in your field experience or internship. This is part of your training at IUP and the development of clinical judgment. I encourage you to trust yourself and your clinical intuition. This is actually what helps define you as a counselor. It sets you apart from other helping professions. In summary, we are so very proud to have you as alumni. Welcome to the family, colleagues. You are counselors, and I hope you progress in your career with the pride faculty, friends, and family are experiencing now. I feel hopeful for the future of the profession. Please join me as we give these graduates a round of applause for their significant accomplishment. I would like to highlight some of the accomplishments for those in attendance today. So as a whole, you've completed 20 graduate courses. 
you have completed over 100 hours of clinical practicum, and you have completed over 600 hours of field experience. When you look at that as a whole, what a significant accomplishment um, and the perseverance and fortitude has brought you to this point today. So congratulations again. We will now begin the process of awarding diplomas, starting with the MED in school counseling and Master's of Arts in clinical mental health counseling. Dr. West, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you, Dr. Desmond. I have the honor of introducing to you the Master's of Education in School Counseling graduates. First, Danica Duran. Danica, would you like to read your appreciation? Okay, sure, I'll read it. <laughs> so the two most important days in your life are the day that you're born and the day that you find out why. I'm forever grateful for IUP counseling program, faculty, and my friends and family who have supported me on this journey to a career that gives me so much purpose. To my professors, each and every one of you have not only had an immense impact on my education, but have provided me with so much guidance and support that means the world to me. I appreciate the knowledge you've given me, but more so I've appreciated getting to know you as the wonderful and inspiring individuals that you are. To my classmates, especially Casey, Linnell, Jenna, and Kristen, I honestly couldn't have made it through this program without you. From your daily humor to keeping me on task with friendly reminders, end of the semester celebrations, and your constant motivation and support, I'm so thankful that this program brought us together. To my son, Paxton, who's in the picture right there, thank you for inspiring me to work hard and for the love and hugs after long nights of class and homework. To my parents, I can't thank you enough for your endless encouragement and the support as I continued my education and for all the help that you provided to make it all possible. Lastly, I'm incredibly thankful for the amount of personal growth and healing that I've encountered as a result of this counseling program because I have truly grown to know, love, and accept myself so much more. I am beyond excited to utilize my knowledge and experiences to make a positive impact on the lives of the, my future clients and students. Thank you, Danica. Next, we have Dana Gray. Good morning, everyone. I would like to first thank God who placed me in the right place at the right time with the right people who have been able to inspire and empower me. I must thank my family and friends who have encouraged me to continue and who have helped me every step of the way. To my beautiful daughter, Sanaya, who this degree is for, I have worked so hard to instill in her the vision and mission of a strong Black woman. I would like to thank all faculty and staff whom I've come to know over the past three years, but especially Dr. West, Dr. Pollard, and Ms. Shayla Darlin, who have really helped cultivate me on so many different levels. The wisdom and inspiration each of these ladies has bestowed upon me is immeasurable. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dana. Congratulations. Thank Next, you. we have Casey Mangrum. I want to thank all of my professors with special thanks to Dr. West who have shaped my life both personally and professionally over the past three years. Thank you to my loving family, to my sister, Jesse, <laughs> uh, best friend in the world, Miranda, and amazing boyfriend, Zach, for always pushing me to better myself. Lastly, I want to send a huge thank you and congratulations to my new lifelong friends, Danica and Linnell. I could not have done this without you two on my team. Congratulations, Casey. Next, we have Corey McGowan. Corey says, I need to thank my professors and parents, as well as the many friends I made within the program. Because of them, I made it here. Patience and a listening ear, as well as empathy rather than judgment, have been the key points I have learned and will take with me beyond. Congratulations, Corey. Next, we have Linnell Upshur. I have an endless amount of appreciation for my family, especially my mom and dad. I would not be who I am or where I am without their love and support. And thank you to Dr. West who provided me with confidence, wisdom and insight all throughout my secondary practicum. Um, last but not least, I wanna give a special shout out and thank you to two of my fellow graduates, Danica Durand and Casey Mangrum. Um, thank you for being my support system, my comic relief and most importantly, two of my closest friends. 
Congratulations, Linnell. And to all the school counseling graduates, congratulations. Next, I have the privilege of introducing to you all the Masters of Arts in Clinical Mental Health Counseling graduates. We'll start with Sherry Falcon. So I wanted to say thank you to Dr. Dandino first for helping me find my way into the program out of another program um, and getting started when I did. To Dr. Guth for being my advisor and professor through a pregnancy, a year break, and the pandemic hardships. I've appreciated her insight and her knowledge. Uh, Dr. Carone for her encouragement and the most caring heart. I've learned so much through her and her classes. Um, to all the professors for being nothing but helpful and understanding, helping through many life changes for myself and never minding if my baby popped into the Zoom class meetings. Um, I want to say thank you to my family, my husband first for never letting me give up and always offering support in times I thought I couldn't do whatever task was in front of me, listening to me cry about papers and being overwhelmed and also sharing my excitement after meeting goals and professionally developing. To my mom and dad for always instilling a goal-oriented mindset and killer work ethic and for helping me get to this point in so many different ways. To my sister Celeste for being the most amazing role model. She made me appreciate education and always strive to get everything I wanted. And finally, to my baby girl, Sienna, who's all over that picture. Um, one day, I hope that she looks up to my determination and learns that nothing can stop her. I'm so thankful that you've been with me the whole way through this degree, coloring next to me like she is right now. Um, coloring next to me while I type papers, sleeping on me while I was in session, or trying to join in class discussions. It hasn't been easy at all, but we did it. This is the hardest thing I've done for myself. And while I'm elated, it's finally almost done. Um, proud of remaining determined and reaching the end of this. Thank you guys. Bye. Thank you, Sherry. Congratulations to you. Um, next, I'd like to introduce Noah Mickey. Hello, everybody. Um, I appreciate the professors and the staff of the counseling department for creating a foster learning environment, both in person over Zoom. The professor's willingness to help and be patient kept me at ease throughout the experience. I want to share my appreciations for my classmates. Those relationships are ones I intend to keep for a long time. Finally, I'd like to say a huge thank you to my parents and sister for being my biggest supporters throughout these two years. Without them, I would not have been able to get at this point. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Noah. <laughs> um, next, I'd like to introduce to you Jenna Mariso. I am thankful to the counseling program for helping me grow both professionally and personally. I could not have done this without the support of my family, friends, and boyfriend. Congratulations, Jenna. Next, we have uh, Marissa Safran. Thank you to my parents for always supporting me and believing in me um, and making me believe that this is possible. I love you guys. And another thank you to my boyfriend and amazing friends for all of the support along the way. Thank you. Congratulations, Marissa. Um, next, I'd like to introduce Matthew Shive. I just wanna say I'm very thankful for the insights and experience that the IUB counseling program has provided me. Uh, the faculty in our department has both supported me and challenged me to strive toward being the best counselor I can be for my future clients. I'm forever grateful for the dedication and passion they have instilled in me as a counselor. Um, and I also wanted to give a special shout out to Dr. Guth, who's been really helpful and supportive in, in challenging me to be a better counselor, um, as well as my parents who are here today. Um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here without them, as well as my brother, too. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Matt. And to all of our clinical mental health counseling graduates, congratulations to you. We'd like to also recognize um, the other uh, master's graduates who could not be here today. Um, you can see their names on the slide uh, there. We um, wish them the best. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, Dr. West. Congratulations, everyone. We will now move on to our PhD in counselor education and supervision. I also wanted to highlight what they have accomplished in their time in the program. They have completed 16 doctoral courses, over 100 hours of clinical practicum, 
over 600 hours of field experience at the doctoral level. They have passed comprehensive exams and they have completed a dissertation. So a significant accomplishment indeed. Dr. Holly Brandhoover will now award our PhD in Counselor Education and Supervision Diploma. Thank you, Dr. Desmond. I'm honored to be able to recognize and confer the PhD in Counselor Education and Supervision on, I believe I can say officially this morning, Dr. Bethany Williams. So I cannot begin to express my gratitude to all the individuals in my life who helped me achieve this milestone. IUP's counseling department is outstanding and full of individuals who played a critical role in my personal and professional development. The process of obtaining my doctorate was as much about growing as a person as it was about advancing my education and knowledge. Specifically, I would like to thank the members of my cohort with whom I have formed lifelong friendships. I would also like to thank Dr. Bruno and Dr. West, not only for serving on my dissertation committee, but also functioning as mentors and providing support and understanding. Next, I would like to share my appreciation and thanks to Dr. Brandhoover, who served as my dissertation, dissertation chair and so much more. She pushed me when I need to be pushed and encouraged me to believe in myself. There were times when I was not sure that I was cut out for this venture and she assured me that I was in the right place doing the right thing. When I did not believe in myself, she believed in me and for that I'm grateful. It is also extremely important to thank my parents for their love and support through this process. They have always believed that I would achieve great things and without their encouragement, I would not be where I am today. Finally, I wanna thank my husband, Ryan. He has always assured me that things would be fine and told me you got this before any task. He sat with me late into the night while I wrote papers and helped me study for comps. And that means so much to me. He is my backbone and was with me through, it, through all the ups and downs of this process. As I mentioned earlier, it is impos impossible to fully express my appreciation for all of you, but I hope this captures a small segment of my gratitude. So thank you. Congratulations, Bethany. And um, just wanted to mention Bethany's dissertation and the title is on the slide. Uh, she completed her dissertation on the body project and did a phenomenological study of exploring body acceptance among college-aged women, um, a very important piece of work that adds to the literature in our field. So grateful to have that piece. We also have one other PhD graduate for summer to recognize, um, who's not with us today, Brittany Sager Heinrichs, and her dissertation title is Long-Term Recovery, a Qualitative Exploration of Personal Catalysts for Change. Um, actually on Brittany's committee, but I am not her chairperson. There's a little typo there, and I want to make sure uh, that Dr. PK gets the credit there. She is the chair for Brittany's dissertation, so want to recognize her as well. Congratulations. As Dr. Desmond mentioned earlier, we had an exciting week for the doctoral program moving forward with our KCREP accreditation and can't be happier to be welcoming Bethany as our fourth graduate of the program, and Brittany will be our fifth graduate. So exciting moving forward. And for those master's graduates that are finishing today, we hope that you will consider maybe returning to at some point when you're ready for the doctoral studies. I also have the pleasure of introducing our alumni speaker today. And so with us, we have Diane Metz. Diane is a 2017 graduate of the School Counseling Program and is now the Career Connections Center Coordinator at Westmoreland County Community College. Diane joined Westmoreland in 2018, starting as the Career Planning Coordinator. In 2019, Diane earned the title of Certified Career Counselor through the National Career Development Association and in 2020, transitioned role of Career Connection Center Coordinator. Diane looks back fondly at her time at IUP, noting that her education and experiences provided her with the skill set needed to perform the meaningful and enjoyable work that she does today. Welcome, Diane. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations on your tremendous achievement. To achieve what you have in any year is impressive. To do so during a global pandemic is remarkable. 
Whether you've recognized what you have accomplished in this moment or are simply experiencing a sense of relief to be graduating, you did it, you made it. I would guess that for some of you, mixed in with that excitement is a feeling of uncertainty. As a student, I had well-defined goals as outlined by each semester's syllabi. I would regularly remind myself, I just need to finish this assignment, this class, this program. As a graduate, I no longer had a syllabus or course sequence to follow. While that change can be daunting, I want to reassure you that the program has prepared you well for your next step. And that's what I am going to encourage you to focus on, your next step. With each step you take, you will be creating your path, and I could not be more excited for you to, emb to embark on your journey. As someone who likes actionable steps, I'm going to give you a few ideas for how you can get started on your journey. First, I recommend working on your CV or resume. While it is a logical next step, it is also a fantastic way to remind yourself of all that you have accomplished. Doing so helped me to appreciate the education I received and the experiences I had at IUP, all that much more. If you've already taken that step, go back and reread what you have written to remind yourself of all that you have already accomplished. That may seem like an obvious first step, so you may be wondering, what's the step after that? The next step is a combination of what you do and how you do it. At this point, fully explore your options and keep an open mind while doing so. This is tricky because you may have a clear path in mind or you may know people who, people who are already on the path they plan to be on. While that's great, keep in mind that your path does not have to be clear. In fact, the best path may not be the clearest. When I graduated, I had a clear plan in mind. I was going to be an elementary school counselor. And for those of you who caught my intro, or reading my, my bio on the screen, you may be surprised to hear that, maybe even puzzled. I had every intention of working in an elementary school. And my first job after graduation was in the pre-K through 12 setting. I was working as a student assistance program liaison. Working as a SAP liaison was a fantastic opportunity to work with school staff and learn more about the school district I was in. Throughout that experience, however, I was reminded of how much I enjoyed working in a career center during undergrad. You may be able to guess where this is going. This reminder led me to submit an application to Westmoreland County Community College. I have now been working at Westmoreland for nearly three years. For the first two years, I was the career planning coordinator, which meant I worked with students at one specific location. For almost a year now, I have been the Career Center Coordinator, which means that I work with students at all of our locations and run the Career Center. As you can tell, this is far from the plan I had at graduation. However, I kept an open mind and I could not be happier with where I am. That is what is so great about the training that you have received. It gives you the ability to pursue a variety of paths. You have the option the power to be flexible. The skills you have developed will serve you well, regardless of what path you take. That's not just my personal opinion. I say that knowing that the skills employers look for are skills that are foundational to the counseling program. Skills like critical thinking, communication, and professionalism. And for anyone wondering, that information is based on a national survey conducted by the National Association of Colleges and Employers. I personally have seen how valued these skills are throughout my own experiences. In fact, I use those skills, which I strengthened throughout the program you are graduating from today on a daily basis, and I would not be where I am today without them. I wish you the best of luck in all that you pursue. Congratulations again. Thank you, Diane, for those words of inspiration. In closing, congratulations, counseling colleagues. We wish you all the best as you embark on this new chapter of your career. Please remember we are only a phone call, text message, email, or Zoom link away. Congratulations, let's give them a round of applause.